I'm excited to bring you all the news about our new Station One Fire Department that's coming. We've got our fire chief, Sean Kendrick. If you don't know him, you should, right? That's right. <laughs> now, Chief Kendrick, will you give us a little bit of info kind of on the old Station One, kind of how long it's been there, and then why we're building this new one? Sure. The, uh, the original Fire Station One over on 17th Avenue was built back in 1980 when Clear was a volunteer fire department. Mm. And it's been added onto a couple of times, but we've outgrown that station. It's old, it's in need of a lot of repair. So the city decided to move us over here to an area that's more accessible to the public, it's right. more visible, and we're gonna have a lot more space. This is really awesome too, like being right here by the library, by the school, you know, we have the Strawberry Festival that takes place over here. So this is really kind of a cool central area for right. a community events and involvement, right? Sure. We'll be in the middle of all the action. You will, absolutely. Now tell me a little bit about what's different about this station versus what, what we have currently. Okay, first of all, we have a lot more room. We have room to grow. The mm -hmm. fire department has grown a lot, in, yeah. even in the last 14 years since I've been here. But we'll have a large classroom that will be available to the public to use, nice. but also we'll have a large training area for the fire department to use. I think that's so great that we're giving, you know, the people that are serving us in our community and in our worst times sometimes, right? right? We're giving them the tools that they need to be even better at their job, which is only benefiting the community, that's right? right? Yep. And the bay area of the fire station will have drive-through bays. Yeah. So that will make it safer for moving fire apparatus in and mm -hmm. out. We won't have to back into the fire station. We'll be able to turn in directly off of Highway 25. And then when we leave, we'll just exit right out the front onto Eagle Drive. That is awesome. Now, obviously, it feels like it's going up quick. Probably not quick enough for your guys, right? Everybody's excited and ready about it. But when do you think, um, timeline-wise, this would be ready to go? We anticipate sometime maybe the early fall of 2025, so okay. about a year, maybe okay. a little more than a year. We can handle that. So, but we're that. ready. That's right. I know everyone's ready, right? This yep. is going to be really beautiful. Um, so as far as the old station one, what will happen to that? Any talks about that yet? There are no definite plans for station one. That is part of the downtown entertainment district. Mm, so yeah. that, that property will probably be incorporated into the downtown entertainment district. But no plans on that yet. Nothing definite. But it well. does make sense that that would happen, sure. right? And so this will just be um, station one. We will still have clear station two, clear station three. That's correct. Right? Everything yep. will be the same That's there. Right. Just a, a new little meeting place for community, your guys, making you better at your jobs. That's right. right. And also we'll have a larger administrative office area. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to bring all of our administrative staff into one place. So awesome. we won't be spread out all over the city. I love that. So really, really just a centralized location for all of you. That's right. I love it. Chief, I know we're probably going to have more to come on this. I'd love to, a little walkthrough maybe when things get a little more, maybe some yes, walls definitely. up, right? That's for right. sure. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything you guys do day in, day out for us. All right. Thank you. Thank you.